And then I was like, damn, I told her, what am I going to do? Like, damn, I got to go start to, let's go to the police department. Like, because I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm, a, I'm in the infantry. All I know is grunt shit. Like, I know how to do gun, I know how to do gun stuff. Like, that's it. Like, I don't know how to do anything else. I left as a boy, came back as a man, and this is all I know. So I became a cop. And then once I became a cop, um, and seeing more difficult stuff is when things really started I started really hitting that mental block and I started really realizing that um, you know your friend was killed a few years after you know you, you know this guy that you looked up to was like he was my squad leader he was like a he was like he took care of you he was like a big brother to you like he out of all my leadership ever he was the best like he took care of you anything I ever needed he took care of you know here and, and, and then I started thinking like Dude, this dude went through six deployments all to Afghanistan in the worst times. And here he is. He died. And, like, why, so why are you living? Like, why did you survive? At what point did he die? In uh, his- he died of, um, I think it was, yeah, June the 15th of 2012. And I got blown up on May the 24th of 2012. And I was in Bagram when he died. So, like, at like, why the fuck didn't you die? You got this thing going. You got this real war hero that deployed six times, and he'd only been in for like nine years. So out of nine or eight years, out of eight years, he's deployed six years. And, and like, he died, and you didn't die? Like, that's like, you know, this dude took care of you, and like, like, what, what did you, like, what did you do? You were in a hospital feeling sorry for yourself. You know, and that shit, that shit hit home. That shit hit home for like, for five years, I bottled it up. I drank. I drank a lot. Um, every morning, you wake up and put a smile on your face. Everybody around me laughed because of me. To this day, everybody still, I make everybody laugh. I don't know. It's like my personality, whatever. But as everybody else is laughing, I'm hurting. And nobody knows that until I get home and I can drink. Or I can go to the gym and then come home and drink. So, you know, it's a different world.